Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And tonight, to wrap up your entire week, I'm going to show you how the Democrats in the United States Senate are starting to jump the shark. Their mission creep from Second Amendment infringement to First Amendment sharing of documents is now complete with a new idea that was just submitted by a Democratic senator from New York. Everything will be linked in the description box below, and this is an important one to understand. They will not stop, as this is evidence what I'm about to show you. Now, of course, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on. We distribute freedom twice daily, and we'd love to have you along for the ride. All right, my brothers and sisters, we have got to dive into this because one of the things that we've said consistently, me and Tim have said it on Second Legacy, I've said it here, Katie said it on Stone Second Sense, they will always expand beyond the Second Amendment because it's not about guns, this is about control. You've seen the Democrats do unprecedented attacks against the Second Amendment in the last two years, particularly expedited, but prior to that, about 10 to 15 to 20 years. Well, now they're going after the First Amendment because ghost guns, as they would call them, present them a sticky situation around that First Amendment. Check this out. They're actually advocating for this. Gillibrand touts bill to ban 3D printed gun blueprints. Now, keep in mind, they've already banned ghost guns in New York, but they still have crime, which is really weird. That's a different video. So now she's actively a United States sitting senator is actively advocating in a bill she submitted to stop the sharing and dissemination of information. These are literally just blueprints. This is thought crime to the next extreme. But let me show you what she's doing because I'm telling you this is where it goes. Getting a gun in New York City is easier with a router than through Ruger. So Senator Kirsten, uh, Kristen Gillibrand, Democrat New York, hopes the 3D Printed Gun Safety Act of 2023, which bans internet distribution of blueprints for 3D printed firearms, will suppress the burgeoning illegal pipeline of homemade, untraceable ghost guns, both, both locally and nationwide. Now keep in mind, in New York, they're already illegal, so how is it possible that they're everywhere? Uh, you can obviously draw your own conclusions, but let's focus on the First Amendment here. They are actively submitting that you can't distribute information from one to another. A blueprint. This is not a physical item. This is a blueprint. Now, this is where it gets really interesting and why it's important to see the entire spectrum of this gun rights fight. Because in Texas, the judge in the ghost guns case actually busted the ATF for saying you can't, uh, or the ATF said you can't put instructions inside ghost gun kits. The plaintiffs said uh, that's an infringement on First Amendment grounds, and they won it. That's what this is. This is the First Amendment. You cannot use this as a reason to support gun control by violating the First Amendment. This is incredibly important, and they are having mission creep. If you don't believe me, let me continue going. This is pretty big. Gillibrand announced the bill Monday at the Detectives Endowment Association's Manhattan headquarters alongside state lawmakers, gun violence prevention advocates, and union president Paul D. Deca whatever, it doesn't matter. That's his name. Quote, let me be clear. We aren't just talking about water pistols here, said Gillibrand. This is the part where my head explodes. We're talking about real, fully operational semi-automatic firearms like AR-15 rifles and Beretta M9 handguns. Because many of the 3D printed guns are made of plastic, they can bypass metal detectors commonly used at secure public areas. People are going into these public spaces and using these ghost guns to commit crimes and law enforcement is finding it difficult and more and more difficult to stop them. So um, people are using them? I just want to point that out. Um, but Quick, quick stop. You guys can tell me in the comments. Is this 1980? Is this 1990? Are we recycling gun control points where Glocks were made of polymer, so therefore they were undetectable? Um, I'm pretty sure that at AR-15, there is nothing that makes them completely plastic. And I'm pretty sure you still need a bolt carrier group. You need a barrel, all made of metal to withstand those types of pressures. It's one thing when you're just an infringer of Second Amendment, but now you're going to the First Amendment, but at least have a general idea of what you're talking about. And Beretta M9 handguns? Yeah, okay. Let's continue. I got two more things for you because it only gets sillier. Regulations for 3D printing gun blueprints were undercut by the Trump administration, Ooh. which shifted governance from the State Department to the Commerce Department. The move lifted pressure to oversee files that weren't ready for insertion into a 3D printer, but could easily be sent by email and converted into the proper format. These documents aren't even ready to print. This is literally a thought crime. 
Is that a blueprint that's ready to print? Nope, just a blueprint. Oh, that's going to be against the law if this were to pass. This is insane. Democrats are now taking their zeal for the Second Amendment infringement and going into the First Amendment zone. They will not stop. They are tyrannical. The gun controllers are not everyday Democrats. But anyway, one more thing for you. Listen to this quote. This is a nice little chestnut. Quote, the rapid proliferation of 3D printed guns poses a major threat to the safety of Manhattanites. Anyone can now manufacture dangerous and deadly weapons right in their own home and apartment, said Bragg. That's the DA of Manhattan. One key reason it is so easy to print 3D guns is that detailed blueprints can be shared with just a few clicks over the internet. And I thank Senator Gillibrand for her leadership on this issue at the federal level. I would like to thank Senator Gillibrand for infringing on the First Amendment rights, or at least are trying to, because of gun control. It's mission creep. They're never going to stop. If you start talking about guns, you're going to get censored and canceled online. If you start distributing blueprints or breakdowns of firearms, is that now a... A thought crime? These people are zealots. Not everyday Democrats. These ones. The ones in power. The ones at the head of the party. The far left. The woke. The anti-gun. And that's what I've got for you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.